In this video I will show you once again how all three methods encountered in the fractal flow series can be used together in perfect combination. You will notice how all major signals seem to converge to a same area in the chart. This is important because in trading we must always look for a multivariate confirmation for our trades. We should never trust just one tool alone for reasons that are outside the scope of this video for now. In this chart we have a peculiar situation. Price shoots up, and then it goes sideways for a while. This gives the trader a lot of time to think, which is a good thing. From number 1 to number 4 we have this aggressive movement upwards. Notice that low number 3 is a solid structure, and therefore, the last market structure where buyers have proven themselves against the sellers. The blue thick line you see coming out of that low is a supply and demand line to display the moment where buyers won the battle. From numbers 4 through number 8 price just goes sideways without making any sort of important moves, but in number 9 it starts to become very interesting in terms of analysis. Observe that candle 9 pierces the supply and demand line and clearly denies it showing that there is some degree of buying pressure in there. Candle 9 is also a clear fractal candle pointing up, which is also confirming the idea of buying pressure in that area. We also have a clear simple reversal divergence happening between number 7 and number 9, which is another indication that this market might turn upwards. Beyond all of that, the lower tail of candle 9 seems like a manipulation maneuver in relation to candle number 7, and the way candle 9 violated that low and denies it is an indication that market manipulation is indeed a possibility here. If that's the case, the manipulation was inducing retail traders to the downside, so the real direction of the market would be to the upside. That is in perfect alignment with the previous elements we have so far. After candle 9 closed, it was clear that a buy trade was a reality, and then I began looking for the optimal entry for the trade. You can see that I drew a pitchfork using low number 3, the high number 4 and the low of candle 9. These are the most important price extremes in this chart. Observe carefully what happens in candle number 10. It's clearly another fractal candle pointing upwards, which is a result from the fractal flow method. It's clearly touching the wash line from numbers 7 and 9, which is a result from the market maker method, and last but not least, it is touching the pitchfork line as a result from the Newtonian trading method. The long position was opened when price touched the wash line in combination with the fork line. The fractal candle combination obviously came a little later after the entry. The stop was placed a few pips below candle 9 and the target at the high number 8 level to give a 1 to 3 risk reward ratio. Let's see how the trade turns out. As you can see in here, price reached the target successfully. Notice also how price reaches the center line of the pitchfork and then starts to reverse its direction. If you want to learn how to use these methods of trading, please visit the strategy store in the link available in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel and leave your comment below. Thank you for watching.